Next up in our interview question series is how to determine whether or not two strings are anagrams of each other. Now, if you've never worked with an anagram, if you don't know what an anagram is, it's when you take a set of letters, so let's say this A, B, C, D, if that were a word, an anagram of that could be B, A, C, D. It's the same letters, just in a rearranged order. So that is an anagram, but if I did A, B, C, D, and then D, D, B, B, C, C, A, A, that is not. It's the same letters, but it's the different length. There's more of the letters. You have to have the exact same letters, the same number of the same letters within it to be considered an anagram. Um, if you were missing a letter, that also wouldn't be an anagram. So if I did uh, B, A, C, F, that would be false. It's the same length, but it doesn't have all the letters. So an anagram is the same length, it's got the same letters, it's just in a different order. So how do we do that? I've got a couple of sample ones here, calling this function a couple of times. So if you want the starter code, it's down in the description down below, there's a link to it, you can copy that and uh, take a few seconds and see if you can come up with a way of doing this. And I'll be back in just a minute to discuss the solution. Okay, welcome back. Now, to solve this, I need to find a way of comparing the two strings. I can't just say the first one and the second one are they equal to each other. That's not a built-in thing. It doesn't compare them in that way. It has to be the same length and the same order for JavaScript to be able to compare them. So what is a way that I can do this? Well, if I were to take all of the letters and I could sort them alphabetically, then compare the two strings. If they are the same length and the letters appear in the same order within those two strings, I can find a match that way. So that's what we're going to do. So let's create a couple of variables, sorted one and two. And for the first one, we're going to take string number one. I'm going to use the split function, which is going to turn my string into an array. Because once I've done that, I can call the sort function now all the strings are in order. We can do the exact same thing on the second string. We'll call split. Splitting it on nothing means just take every letter as an item in the array on its own. So A, B, C, D would become an array that has the first one is A, second one is B, third one is C, fourth element in the array is D. And then for the second string, it would be B, A, C, D as the four elements in the array. Now I want to combine them again to turn them back into a string. So we use join with no separator. And because we want it to be case insensitive, we'll convert the string to lowercase right here at the very end. And there we go. Now I've taken the string, turned it into an array, sorted it, stuck it back together, converted it to lowercase. And I've done the same thing with both of these. Now all I have to do is compare. So does sorted one, is that the same as sorted two? Are they, same, are they the same primitives? Okay, so let's give it a run. So the first one, false. We can see, yeah, okay, the J and the H, they didn't match. On the second one, I did take the letters and rearrange them, and that works. And that's it, it's as simple as that. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.